I'm Steve, and today we're going to look at uh, what looks like half of a projectile motion problem. So in this problem, a ball rolls off a table of height 1 meter, and it has a velocity of 2 meters per second. Uh, how long will it take to hit the ground? And we want to know where will it land, so how far away from the edge of the table will it land? Go ahead and pause the video. Try it by yourself, and when you're ready, I'll show you how I did it. Alright, welcome back. So this problem is sort of like the back half of the parabola. Alright, we only have the downward part. So the first thing we want to do when solving this is we want to write down all that we know about the problem. So in this case, we know that it's coming off from a height of one meter down to the ground, and we know it has an initial velocity, which should all be horizontal, uh, of two meters per second. And we know there's gravity. We want to know the time and the distance that it will travel while it's in the air. So let's work on time first. Uh, to do this, all we're going to have to do is just do the simple equation which we've used many times. Height is equal to initial velocity times time plus one half at squared. In this case, a is gravity. So we plug in what we know. Uh, there is no initial velocity because in this case, we're looking in the vertical direction and there's no initial velocity in the vertical direction. So that's just zero. So we have one is equal to one half 9.8 t squared. We solve for t and we find that t is equal to 0.45 seconds. Next, we try and figure out where it will land and what the distance was from the table. So for that, we're going to just use a simple equation. Uh, the distance is equal to velocity times time. All right, that's all we need to know. So in this case, the velocity is that two meters per second because the horizontal velocity will stay the same throughout uh, the time the ball is in the air. And we now know from part one how long it was in the air, the 0.45 seconds. Just take those two, multiply together, and we get the distance is equal to 0.9 meters. And it's just that simple. Hopefully that wasn't too bad for you. And if you do have questions, please leave them in the comments below. Please like and share this video if you found it helpful, and until then, have a good day. 